Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? I'm just going to get into today's topic. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you have not hit the subscribe button. I'm going to talk today about black organizations, African American organizations here in the United States. This is an important topic because we're at a critical point in American history. And I also think we're at a critical point in black history where certain conversations need to be had in a manner that's serious, in a manner that's forward thinking, and also in a manner that's challenging the status quo. In no way is this meant to be offensive to any one particular person or group. This is meant to challenge you and encourage you. It's also meant to excite you because oftentimes in our community, some of the best ways to get us excited and motivated to take action is to identify some of the problems. And so in honor of Black History Month and in the spirit of we can do better, These are the reasons why uh, I feel our organizations are broken. Part of my work involves me spending time in the community, talking to a number of different brothers and sisters in different parts of the United States, throughout a number of different communities, but largely African-American communities. And the one thing that I am noticing, and as you can tell by the title, is the brokenness in our black organizations. And this is not to focus on one or two specific organizations because I've quite frankly connected with a number of our uh, black organizations in different parts of the country. Our black organizations, from what I've witnessed, are broken. Let's talk about what it means to have a broken system. The first level of brokenness that I see that exists within our black organizations is a failure of systems. So what do I mean by a failure of systems? I mean, when you call the organization, you can't get anybody on the phone. If you send an email, you may not hear back (laughs) until months, if not years later you have people who won't even take the time to pick up the phone and call you or take the time to send you an email to keep you in the loop on what's going on that's why personally i make it a point to make sure our team sends out emails on a regular basis letting people know what's going on in and throughout black travelers network it's important that you have a clear system It's also important that if you have people who take the time to reach out, that you make an effort to get back with that person. I can't tell you how many times I've put in a phone call or sent an email and I've gotten zero response. And these are well-known public organizations. Some of them are local, small local community organizations. That is a failure in systems, folks. Anytime you are an organization and you don't have a clear system in place on intaking calls, emails, contact from people who are within your organization or outside of your organization, that is a failure in your system. The second level of brokenness is a lack of leadership. I don't know what it takes for some of our people within the context of various types of black organizations. And I'm gonna include churches as a part of this whole conversation because a lot of this I've seen and witnessed and experienced with various uh, churches in different parts of the country as well. When we talk about leadership, the lack of leadership is when you have leaders who lack vision, that is the second level of brokenness within African American organizations. I mean, when we look at our history and we look at so many of the African American leaders throughout history, many of them had some type of vision. 
you know, Harriet Tubman, who led so many people out of slavery and talked about how she would have helped more escape if they would have realized they were enslaved. She had a vision. When we talk about the great Dr. King, the I have a dream speech, that is a vision that Dr. King put on the world stage that we all refer back to at this point in time. That's a vision. And he had many, many more speeches throughout the country where he identified that particular vision and other aspects of that vision. That's leadership. When we look at some of our national organizations and community-based organizations, the programs that many of those organizations still have around and still implement today can be attributed to specific leaders of the organizations at different points in time during history. When it comes to black organizations of today, we don't know who these leaders are. We don't know where they came from. We don't know what they're working towards. A lot of them you would never even recognize unless they ended up on the news speaking on behalf of the black community locally. And if you identify yourself as an African-American leader of any organization on any level, I encourage you to create a vision and make that vision plain. Wherever you are, wherever you speak, be an advocate and be vocal about what you're working on and what you're working towards. Because that is one of the key elements to having real true success and real true support. Nobody wants to support an organization that's broken and failing. It just doesn't make sense. The third level of brokenness within black organizations here in the United States today is a disconnection with the needs of the community. Folks, we still have people who are using organization resources, organization time, gathering up clothes to donate to Africa, and that's their community service. And these are people who've never even been to the African continent. They don't even know that some of the African countries have banned the importation of secondhand clothing. If you have ever been to the African continent, you would know that the last thing that's needed is donated clothes. Going back to our history, if you look at the time period during the civil rights era, our black organizations had a purpose that was directly connected to the needs of the community. There was focused leadership, people volunteering, people answering phones, people giving money, people filling in the gaps where there were needs in the community. We had organizations that got results that allowed for the people in the community who had the greatest need to receive the greatest amount of help. That was the work of our organizations. That's our history. That's black history in America. This is important because no one wants to be a member of a broken, failing organization. And the reality is there are a number of black organizations that have completely failed. And when I say completely failed, I mean they no longer exist. And it is significant, but the sad part is that failure rate is more significant than what most of us realize until you start to look at a list of black organizations and you start seeing that so many of them no longer exist. We are in a crisis within the black community when it comes to our organizations and it's a problem because it's directly connected to the resources that come back into the organizations and go back into the community. This is something that is alarming and we need to fix it. Drop your comments below. Let us know what you think. Until next time.